Warning. Beta Live Morning caters to mature audiences. Topics discussed are particularly on hot, timely, current issues purposely intended for Filipino viewers and listeners worldwide. Discussions may contain language that may not be appropriate for some sensitive audiences. If you do not approve of the content listed above, please do not watch our videos. If you wish to continue, we strongly advise that you proceed with caution. Viewer maturity is advised. Meron hong double-bladed approach. Double blade kung tawagin mga boss. Anong ibig sabihin noon? Yun hong bibirahin mo, pero pupurihin mo. <laughs> you, 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 you try to hit, but at the same time, praise. <laughs> Alright, uh, kaya lang nakabaon ho yung sinasabing uh, may pagkaulukait, uh, may pagkapilosopo, sabihin na ho natin sarcasm and cynicism. Eh, kung sa salitang English, they would do a double-bladed approach. Hit first and then praise. <laughs> Yun hong uh, praise and hitting, the praise is embedded with sarcasm and cynicism. Tinagagul, tinagalog ko na ho kanina, no? <laughs> uh, maganda, ehemplo ho dyan, mga bossing, kung kayo ho talaga nagbabasa ng dyaryo at kayo ho nakikinig ho at kung di kaya nag-aanalisa, hindi lang ho yung nagbabasa lang pagkatapos, pagkatapos nyo nang basa, kung ano yung basurang inyo na binabasa, garbage in, garbage out. <laughs> Pag hindi nyo ho ala, hinahawakan nyo yung sense of analysis ninyo, eh baka yun hong kung ano yung mga basurang inyong nabasa, yun din ang didikit doon sa inyong sentido at sa inyong ulo. Ngayon, good example mga boss. Sinasabi ho nila, eto ho ano, maging balance ho tayo rito. Whether you're a supporter or whether you're not, whether you're yellow, whether in the academe, whether historian ka ba, <laughs> whether, whether you're yellow press or whatever, para sa atin mga boss ano, The good example dito ay eh, they're pointing out doon ho sa mga the plus factor ho nitong si Duterte. Mm -hmm. Ano ho yung plus niya? Duterte hates drugs. That's a fact. Talagang galit ho si Digong, si President Duterte, pagdating ho sa droga. Nobody without a doubt, eh, alam niya naman ho yan, siguro. So ngayon, hindi lang ho dyan, uh, nakita niyo naman ho sa the Davao experiment, ganun din ho sa alcohol eh, talagang pagdating ho sa oras, may oras ho talaga. Eh, kumbaga, pati yung mga smoking band, which is sa Dabo din ho yan. Nakikita nyo, if you want to call it a Dabo experiment, mga boss. So, an ano, hong, ano hong ating mga sinasabi rito? Ito ho, talagang mga na-implementa ho to sa siyudad ho ng Davao, na Doon naman ho talaga naging mayor si President Tigong doon. Natagal din ho. Ano? So, lahat ho mga bagay nito, eh, may basihan ho siya na nagamit niya ho sa pangkalahatan na nanggaling ho sa, uh, Malay, sa probinsya or uh, sa isang siyudad sa Metro City ng Davao. Now, he's trying to make that as, as a standpoint doon ho yung jump up point ng mga ginagawa niya ngayon because yun ho ang sinasabi niya proven and tested para sa kanya. So ngayon, good example of that is uh, talagang galit ho si Duterte, si President Digong. Iba ho kasi nagkagal pag sinabi kong Duterte. <laughs> si President Digong, doon ho sa sinasabing droga, uh, sino ba naman matutuwa niyan? Maliban lang kung addict ka. Pagdating sa alcohol at sigarilyo, na naimplementa ho talaga sa Davao na strictly. Mm -hmm. So, th that's the positive side kung titingnan ho natin. Pero, kung talagang susuriin mo ng maigi, mga boss, ano? um, gusto na lang sabihin na itong si President Duterte, again, plus pa ho to, he is a man in control of the situation as well as his direction. As far as his campaign and drugs, anti-drug campaign, makikita nyo, may, may kasabihan ho kasi, Your direction determines your destination. Kung ang direction mo'y pawindang-windang, windang din ang inyong kahinatnan. Ah, kung ang direction mo'y tuwid, eh diretso rin tuwid din ang inyong kahahantungan. Pag baluktot, baluktot din ang inyong, mm, well, matatamas ha, at makakamtan. So the desired outcome will always be determined and it will point you out depende rin sa iyong direction. 
Well, mga mga boss, kung titingnan ho, direction ho ng uh, presidente, talagang mabagsik ho to, droga. Kaya nga, eto nga, nagiging malaking issue ho rito, extrajudicial killings. And I don't want to add any more to that kasi baka sabihin, oh, there we go again, si Tulfo, spokesperson, I am not. Nor I'm not an enabler as well. I, I speak the truth unfiltered sa aking mga sinasabi. Ngayon, mga boss, Uh, dito sa parte na the, the man is in control of the situation. Uh, he takes control of the situation and not let the situation takes control of him. And that's the, uh, the, the description ng Presidente Hu natin. And the flip side of that, the, the critics are going doon sa situ- situations na sinasabing, Well, if he is in control of the situation at talagang control freak, quote-unquote, kung nalang sabihin ng ganyan, eh dapat kontrolahin niya lang yung bibig niya. Yun hong ayos sa mga kritiko. Eh kaya niyo mong pa eh. Ikaw pala yung mga sinasabing control freak. You take control of your directions by controlling the situations and you don't let the situations take control of you. Why cannot you control your mouth? Kulang lang sabihin, you got a big fat mouth. President Duterte, gulang lang ganun, ganun lang gustong sabihin ng mga kritiko, mga boss. Listen carefully to what I'm saying. So, These people, kung titingnan ho natin, yun hong gustong palabasin. Anyway, since you're the guy who can take control of the situation and on top of the situation, why can't you be on top of your big fat mouth? And that's what they want to show. Well, anyway, mga boss, kaya double blade ho. They praise you, but at the same time, they hit you. All right, and then that's one of those things that sometimes it's it's decent way of saying at least binalansin natin, binalansin natin yung good and binalansin natin yung bad. You know, th- these people doesn't want to take a stand. Why don't you just say it straight in the face of the guy, unfiltered truth of what you're saying? If you're a yellow, show that you're a yellow. If you're really out there defending the president, then guy might as well. But some people take a stand. That is not a way to take a stand by balancing. Unless kung nag-news ka. Pero if you want to take a commentary, you want to take an analysis of a guy, gusto mo maintindihan pag-analisa sa taong to, eh maging tumpak din yung iyong mga sasabihin. Huwag kang patu- wag, wag, wag kang pa-ewan kung hindi mo maintindihan na parang lamya ang dating. Ngayon, kaya ang ibig sabihin dito mga boss, yung mga kritiko, ang gusto ko lang sabihin, Uh, big deal ho sa kanila yung bibig kaysa doon sa ginagawa. But from the very beginning, nasasabi ho natin noon pa lang, the guy can walk his talk and walk the walk. But the people wants to say and listen only to what he's talking and talking and they don't want to look at what he's doing or what he's walking. There are a lot of people who can walk their talk and walk the walk. May mga tao ho kasi they just simply want to Listen to the talk and talk and find mistakes and weaknesses and loophole and lapses doon sa kanya mga sinasabi, which what the critics are doing. This is exactly what the critics are doing. Focusing on, 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 on a mistake, which they would try to make it so big. Well, uh, I don't blame them because they're media, okay? And as a matter of fact, uh, effortless para kay President Digong, nang ibenta yung kanyang sarili and packaging because he doesn't have to with no efforts out there he's out there in the international media being picked up of course the only thing that they want to pick up is the word SOB son of a toot <laughs> tinagalog mo <laughs> yun lang malaking story na and they forget the substance why he said that hey come on guys I'm not defending the president I- I'm gonna tell you exactly why because You know, uh, the stimulus and response, the stimulus is on the basis of the SOB or PI. <laughs> What made this guy said a PI? Meron hong dahilan na indirectly ang pinick up yung PI naging dahilan. Kaya pati sa White House si Obama reacted to it and decided to cancel yung sinasabing. Huwag na tayo mag-meeting. All right. No problem with that. So the point that we're saying dito mga boss, kung ang mga kritiko ay eh, talagang binibigyan ng diin yun hum bibig ng Pangulo kaysa doon sa direksyon ng ginagawa ng Pangulo at eh, dinudulot na resulta yung tamang kahinat na na gusto mangyari na pinipintasan pa rin, wala namang tama kung nalang titignan sa mga kritiko. Lahat na ginagawa mo, mali na eh. 
Kahit na sabihin ng um, palasyo, Oh, we're winning in drugs! The critics will say, No, you're not. You're killing people. No, we're on the upper hand. No, you're not. You guys are vigilante. So, uh, what else is new? Kaya sa sinasabi ho natin, the big picture is that the president is a big mouth. That it, that's it. And, and, and who cares about what the president is saying? It's not the substance. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. <laughs> how you say it, the manner in which you say it, colorful as it is, and you being a colorful guy, that's the problem para sa kanila. So, you get it? So, I'm point. If you cannot control your mouth, then <laughs> you'll end up calling SOB every leaders of the countries and everybody. And at the end of the t- at the end of the day, you end up regretting and apologizing. That's what the critics are saying. So, focusing on his weakness, and that's basically the mouth, which is for the talk instead of the walk. What you talk, you better walk. Eh, hindi na ho tinitingnan yung walk. Puro talk na lang. <laughs> All right. And they make a big deal. You see that? He ends up regretting. Saying up sorry seems to be the hardest word. But the president says, I never said I'm sorry. I've said I regret. I may have said it. I was misconstrued. I wasn't cussing Obama. I said, just in case, you'd better listen to me. Oh, ne- better not do that to me. Eh, hindi nangyari ho yung bagay na gusto niya mangyari na nangyari kasi naunahan na ho doon sa mga smart aleck na, you know, smart ass na mga reporters and the, the yellow media. And, 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 and so, naging bataya na ho yan ng sinasabing uh, international media. And then became the story. So, um, eto ho yung ating mga sinasabi para naintindihan nyo ho. Kasi sense of analysis na ho to. Kasi what else is something that I can talk to you about? And I'm not here for the news. I'm only telling you, focus on the mouth. Why focus on the mouth instead of focus on what he's saying and delivering it? The guy is delivering something, but you still want to focus on his mouth. And the way he's saying, like Lila de Lima, you can call Lila de Lima diarrhea in her mouth. Then, then you want to call the president diary and her mouth. The difference between the president does not speculate. And you can tell him extrajudicial killing. That, that's the, 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 the interpretation of others. While the others is diary and the mouth speculating to the max. Speculation. <laughs>